Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. So just a few hours ago, Apple dropped iOS 13.2 beta 3 for developers, uh, around 220 megabytes here on the iPhone 11. And if you are a public beta tester, you should be seeing this update pretty shortly. So there's not a lot of changes in the update, but there are a couple of small ones that I do wanna show you nonetheless. So if you're excited for that, drop a like down below. It does seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. First up for iPad users, if you were having some issues updating to iOS 13.2 beta 2 last week, you were not alone. There was actually some relatively serious issues happening where some iPads would not exactly be bricked to where they wouldn't work, but the update would just stop and then you'd have to force your device into DFU or restore, connect to iTunes mode to get it working. But it still didn't let you do it easily through the software update update area in settings. So now with iOS 13.2 beta 3, Apple has re-released that for the iPad uh, and it should work again. So you should be able to update over the air on your device like you should have always been able to. Following that, one of the coolest changes last week that we saw on iOS 13.2 beta 2 was the ability to delete an app by pressing and holding on it. So before you'd have to like tap and hold just to get the X. It was really weird, really annoying. You wouldn't even know how to do it unless you, I don't know, I guess watch videos like this. But in iOS 13.2 beta 2, it looked like this here on the left. But in iOS 13.2 beta 3, Apple has tweaked that just a little bit. It no longer says delete TweetBot or delete YouTube or delete Instagram, depending on what you 3D touch on. It simply just says delete app now. So a bit less exciting, but it is more standardized. It sort of falls in line with the other options. Next up, if you're somebody that uses Apple Music, iCloud syncing was having some issues in the last beta to where you'd have to fully unsync your device and potentially delete all of your downloaded music and then resync just to see updates to your Apple Music library. So you would have had to go into settings and then music and take care of everything here. That has been corrected in this update. So if you head over to music, you shouldn't have to resync and then unsync again. It should just be here and update as expected. So obviously when you're running a beta like this, there are gonna be annoying issues, you know, like some iPads getting partially bricked or uh, the music app not updating as expected, but I guess that's the risk we take to get the latest and greatest features like, you know, a small text change. Now on my iPhone 11 here, I don't have cellular service, but some users on Reddit are claiming that cell connectivity has gotten up to twice as fast, uh, specifically on AT&T, maybe on other carriers as well through a firmware modem update. Again, I can't verify this because I don't have cellular or AT&T, but if you do have cellular on your iPhone and you did update to iOS 13.2 developer or public beta 3, go ahead and go off Wi-Fi and try your cellular out. See if it's any faster and let me know your results down below in the comment section. It'd be pretty dope if Apple upgraded cellular speeds through a software update. And I have seen mixed results that in some cases an iPhone 10s Max could actually have a faster cellular download speed than an iPhone 11 or an 11 Pro, which, you you know, how would the old model be faster than the new one? So just let me know down below. Aside from those changes, I haven't really seen anything else in this update, guys. Uh, it's going a little bit slower now. We saw a lot of the big changes like new emojis and a really cool like interracial emoji picker in iOS 13.2 beta 2. So things are slowing down. Obviously, we can't see changes of this magnitude each and every single time. So this is going to have to hold us over until the next iOS 13.2 beta or more properly, probably until iOS 13.2 is released. I'll let you guys know if any other big changes or features are discovered over on Twitter after this video goes live on YouTube. So if you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, drop a like down below. It does seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on all the way to Apple News. I've been Sam. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll see all of you in my next video.